the younger horses that haven't seen everything, they haven't gone everywhere, they haven't done the been there done that 13 year olds that are solid as a rock that you can just show up, run, they know their job. Um, these younger horses, I feel that it's beneficial if you can go in there, let them see the things, um, let them walk around, let them feel the dirt, let them, you know, just get comfortable. And a lot of times that can help set up your success for your competition runs in there. The fun part about Corpus is that we're right here on the water. You know, advantage to Stephanie is they're used to the humidity, they're used to the heat, That's that plays into it. You know, I, I live in Southeast Colorado, it's dry as a popcorn fart. And there's no moisture in the air whatsoever. So you come down here and you wanna melt. So bringing horses into this, knowing that they are used to the climate, you're at sea level, they have a little bit of an advantage to, be, to being able to understand the climate. This is the day. This is where we really get kicked off the $600,000 rodeo in rodeo. Corpus Christi along with the Buccaneer days and this is going to be the diet that sets the stage for the rest of the group. We talked a little bit about it last night but there's a lot of fanfare around Stephanie Fryer. Another one of my favorite portions of what's happening with Stephanie and Frank is that women's sports is growing and we're finally women in the industry are finally getting the recognition that they need and not no better platform than to be the first woman for a chance at the Triple Crown million dollar bonus than Stephanie and Frank. Honestly, she's dedicated her entire life to barrel racing, and she's probably put more time in the saddle than most people. And hopefully, we get to see her hold that million dollar check up at the end. This is going to be Maggie Polonsic from Gillette, Wyoming. I do. Steph's great. She's so supportive of any everybody that's at the event. It doesn't matter what she's going through. She is everyone's biggest cheerleader. She's just the nicest person. I bet Stephanie is relaxed. I mean, I think she's hopeful that she'll win it. I think we all are hopeful that she'll win it because it's such a cool thing. Um, but I bet she's just going to go in there and make the runs that she always makes. And and every, I think everyone's pulling for her. But I, I bet she's not adding any extra pressure to herself. She's been in situations that are high stakes before. Because I think at this level, no matter where you're running, it's for big money. It's for a title. It's for something that's big. So I don't think that changes here. You know, it's easy to get caught up in the hype of it. And like, as much as everybody wants the story and, you know, all that, at the end of the day, as the athlete, I have to keep myself on even ground, knowing that it's the same three barrels that are sit out there every single time. It's the same pattern. Leave it all up into God's hands. He's gotten me this far. He aligned it to where I won two in a row. So let's see if it happens at the third one.